The Chowket market opened before Merdeka and now years past 2020, a new and modern wing will finally open for business. What used to be a wet, narrow and dark warren of aisle will now be a bigger, brighter and cleaner wing for daily groceries of meats, vegetables and other staples. Already, two stalls have opened in the mid-section downstairs, while sundry shops and kopitiams are up and running in the first floor, accessible by escalators. The 177.5 million ringgit market, located on Jalan Raja Boat, is ready to house the 1,477 stalls and shops in stages over the next few years. The 69 euro market's redevelopment was first announced under an initial allocation of 200 million ringgit in 2011 by then Deputy Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin. The new multi story market complex, situated right beside the current market on Jalan Raja Boat, is expected to be completed in four phases. This includes the wet market, dry market, utilities and an 8-storey car park with more than 500 parking bays. Traders who have been doing business at the market for generations were reluctant to move. They, however, told the Vibes they will shift over to the new market after its completion. So, second generation here is around 40 years. Uh, first generation, I think, is about uh, 80 years, 80 years later. Lah. I'm selling tablecloth, uh, the household products, so aprons, uh, something like this, just simple, simple business, uh, the small business, um, I'm not too excited be uh, because about we not all go together, so we just a part, a part of the shop, just go there, so I sh just worry about uh, the business problem, I think is the uh, business issue, the customer issues. So some of the customers is still already, uh, how to say? Uh, familiar. Uh, yeah, the familiar is around here. Now they move to new, new places. So uh, I think not good for the new business to start from, we want to begin from there. So it's not too good for us. Lah. Kalau saya ada sini sudah ada 40 tahun lagi nenek nenek punya tangan sudah mungkin ada 60 tahun 70 tahun lah. Apa yang you jual sini? Sini uh, jual kedai plastik. Uh, lagi itu kedai jual itu makanan punya tapak lah. Kalau pindah sana kalau ada ramai or orang okey. Kalau takut sudah pindah itu customer semua tak pergi sana. Tapi sini tepi-tepi ada customer lah. Sewa dulu sini murah. Ni tempat besar. Baru tiap-tiap uh, bulan sewa baru 135. Tengah itu lesen punya uh, bayar setahun baru 180. Sekarang lesen 300, sewa 900. Lagi tempat lagi kecil. Sini satu kedai sana boleh mau tiga empat kedai sana sana kasih punya tempat mereka kecil lagi ada metene itu biasa lah RM50 tapi satu bulan sudah lebih kurang mau RM1,000 pakai lah uh, kedai di sini turun temurun mau kepada herba saya jual herbs uh, tentang pemindahan ni dengan keadaan sekarang ni kita sewa terlalu mahal satu Dengan keadaan kedai sekarang ni hmm, tak menepati uh, keperluan uh, peniaga lah. Jadi uh, macam air tak ada uh, dengan keluasan, dengan keselesaan uh, peniaga dengan uh, pembeli. Jadi dia nak cari kedai tu jadi masalah. Uh. Kalau boleh kita mau potongan 70% daripada harga yang asal lah. Oh kedai ni dah lama dah dalam 35 tahun dah sudah kedai ni beroperasi daripada arwah ayah saya lah dan saya ambil alih lah. Jadi second generation lah saya ambil alih kedai ni dah selama dah 15 tahun. Jadi kedai ini telah beroperasi selama roughly lah dalam 35 ke 40 tahun lah. Well, kalau nak dikatakan lebih suka daripada sini lah daripada tempat kedai baru. 
uh, di sini dah jalan utama kan orang turun dah nampak kedai tapi nak buat macam mana di BKL punya kuasa kami terpaksa pindah jugalah itu kuasa di BKL kami tak ada kuasa kami follower aja in march 2023 Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Law and Institutional Reform, Azalina Othman said the project was expected to be completed by October 2025. She said phase 1 of the project was completed in 2016, while the main contractor for phase 2 was terminated in 2021. The project was initially scheduled for completion in 2017. After many years, the market established in 1955 will now be transformed into an iconic landmark in the city. The beginnings of the Chowkit wet market when Kuala Lumpur was just a town can be traced at the National Archives. It was the brainchild of then Kuala Lumpur Town Council member Raja Muhammad Raja Alang in the early 1950s. The proposal was brought to the Kuala Lumpur Town Council's financial meeting in May 1953 and its constructions approved. A sum of 350,000 Malayan dollars was allocated for construction of 350 stalls, making it the largest market in federal territories. It was launched by the late Sultan Hishamuddin Alam Shah Al-Hajj in 1955.